Hi everyone, I'm back. Um, it's been eight weeks and three days since I have cut my hair last. And as you can see, it's grown out significantly even since my last video, which was about five weeks ago. So I'm still doing the no poo journey and I wanted to update you on what exactly I'm doing now because I changed my solution a little bit. Um, I have really hard water here, so I wasn't feeling that slippery feeling with the baking soda mixture that a lot of people talk about. So I did something different and it's really working for me now. Um, first I upped the baking soda amount that I mixed in and I do one and a half cups of water to three tablespoons of baking soda. And when I do this, I first boil the water and then once it's boiling, I take it off the burner and add the baking soda. This way I know it's dissolved. And when you boil the water, a lot of the minerals um, boil out. So if you have hard water, there's a lot of minerals in it. Um, it just changes the way that it's gonna work in your hair. So try that out if you have hard water. Again, when you wash your hair, it should really feel like, I don't wanna say slimy, but I guess slippery is the best way to say it. That when you you know you're working it in your hair again it's not gonna um, bubble up but it should feel like something's happening like there is something in your hair that's cleaning it um, it's not gonna be bubbly but you should feel that it's cleaning it because it really is so if you feel that it's just still really uh, waxy or um, your hair feels more like hay, then something's wrong. So I just encourage you to uh, do some trial and error. Um, it's gonna be different for everybody. And I, I also wanna show you the bottle that I put my baking soda in, baking soda and water. It's right here. I got it on Amazon. So I make um, my solution and then I just pour it in here. And when this is empty, I make some more, put it back in here. I would say this lasts me about I don't know, two weeks, so it's not that big of a deal to make more. Um, and yeah, it works out really well. You just take this little cap off and try and get it on your scalp, squeeze it out, do, 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 and then you're good to go. Um, my apple cider vinegar solution I changed also, and this I use um, one cup of water to two and a half tablespoons of organic apple cider vinegar it's unpasteurized and I do the same thing I boil the water first and then I add the vinegar and stir it up really well once it cools down I move it to a squirt bottle and since I have pixie hair these solutions are not going to stay on my scalp or stay on the tips because it's really hard to do um, so I just squirt it the best I can um, and always 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 rinse your uh vinegar out with cold water. I know it's a pain, it's winter here now, and nobody wants to be in cold water, but nobody wants to have ugly hair either. So I um, definitely suggest you trying it. Um, it's really worked well for my hair. My hair is, I have a lot of hair, so it's always gonna look big, but if you can tell, it's not dry, it's shiny, um, it's soft. Sometimes my hair would get really, really frizzy and just really gross. So I do this every third day. Um, I try and go every four, but I'm working on it. Uh, the third day gets pretty gross. So um, I don't know, my hair, it's hard to tell how much it's grown out in the eight weeks. I mean, it was super, super short. If you guys look back to my other videos, um, this is gonna be a long journey. So right now I'm still gonna grow it out. Um, I hope that this was helpful and I'll be back later to show you more hair growth. Thanks for watching.